Hi folks, welcome to the Shed. Congratulations on purchasing an Arctroid. Today is the first video in a series of uh, videos to show you how to use your Arctroid. Small, portable, easy to use, but there's a few things you need to do to get it working right. So today we're gonna walk you through those. Should take about 10 minutes. Initial setup and calibration is really easy and everything we need to do it is right here. Two very important things you need to do before you start the calibration routine. One, we need to assemble the calibration triangle. And two, we need to attach your torch to the snap plate. I've set up on the corner of a table here. You can set up on a piece of steel or something. Clamp things in position so everything stays put. It's also a really good idea to level. You level the machine, level the table so everything's working on the same plane. Calibration is important for one main reason, math. This machine uses a very complex set of equations to determine where the tip is at any given moment. And it needs to be able to compare where the tip is with the factory provided stylus versus where the tip is with your individual torch. First step, USB stick plug it into the screen. This will store your calibration values for later. Next up, attach the stylus. Roll it over here, use the knob on the screen to raise and lower the end effector, and lower it down onto the cone. Once it's on the cone, push next, and move the slide with a little bit of down pressure slowly along each rail. The TFT, or the screen here, will actually show that it's capturing values and guide you to the next step. Hit next, move to the next position. Again, lower it down on the triangle or on the cone. Hit next and slide slowly along. Next, same thing in the other corner. Now the screen will show values that it's capturing. They will all be in the 20 millimeter range. This will vary depending on your torch and machine. Switch to the torch and do it all again. Now it's important that you move smoothly and slowly in order to get the values to capture correctly. If you go too quickly, it may skip a hole. Quick and easy way to verify your calibration. The points on this triangle are 313 millimeters apart. So install the stylus, go to the tracing pro, uh, program, choose line draw, go to the first point, lower the stylus down onto the point, zero the screen, and you can either use the button on the stylus or the button on the knob to choose a start point, move to the other other point, lower it down onto the point, and then same thing, button or button, and it will should draw a line that's 313 millimeters long. If you do that for both of them and they're 90 degrees apart, then you know your calibration has worked. So there you go, quick and easy way to calibrate the machine. You may have to do that from time to time if something gets bent out of shape or if you change your torch or your torch tip, but it's always the same process and it's easy to do. So next step. We need to attach your plasma cutter and get on to cutting. That's in the next video.